What a great day with the FDNY diversity training that makes all the difference in how New York's Bravest responds to emergencies to help people, especially the trans community, feel safe calling 911. I'm firefighter Brooke Guinan. Um, I've been on the job for just under 14 years. Brooke Guinan leading diversity training to a class of new EMTs. 40% or more of transgender people will attempt or succeed in suicide at some point in their lifetime, which is a huge number, right? That's, that's, that's nearly half of the transgender population. It's a lesson she wrote from her own experience battling depression while transitioning. Was I going to reach out and take advantage of therapy and antidepressants, or was I going to end it all? Um, and um, fortunately, I, I think I came to the conclusion that I needed help. She knows what it's like to be on the other side of the uniform. And I remember being a trans person dialing 911 and genuinely being fearful because there were strangers going to come into my house and I wasn't going and I didn't know how they were going to interact with me or treat me or if they would see my humanity or if they would see me as a, a thing or an object. In 2016, an executive order from City Hall requiring transgender sensitivity training for all frontline workers and city agencies put this program in place. I actually identify now as non-binary. I, I use the term femme but not female. As a third generation firefighter currently assigned to City Island in the Bronx, visibility has become her greatest tool to combat homophobia and transphobia. Fellow firefighter Chris Freeb says during his transition, the support of his family gave him confidence. But my mother stopped me in the middle of saying it and said, you don't have to say anymore, I already know. I've always known. And I'm going to love you regardless. But his training in the Air Force as an EMT, now a firefighter. It's a, a brotherhood, camaraderie. Made him one of New York's bravest. I went through the same academy as everybody else. I did the same thing as everybody else. And they looked at me no different. For Freebs, representation matters. At the end of the day, we're all humans. We all have feelings. We all have emotions. We're all somebody's brother or sister or, you know, son, daughter. So they just want to be treated with respect. And in addition to City Hall being lit the colors of the transgender flag, the David Diggins Municipal Building in Manhattan, as well as all the borough halls, Queens, Bronx, and in Brooklyn, will be lit up as well. Corian Tamsin. All right, Cal. You know, look, respect. Everybody yes. wants respect and deserves respect.